Welcome to January 14th, 2008, and we will call it a Monday, the second day of the week. Well, brethren, we'll get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. A light shining from above. Day 14. My Father is greater than I. John chapter 14 verse 28. When you pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven. Luke chapter 11 and verse 2. My Father and your Father, my God and your God, as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. John chapter 20 and verse 17. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. John chapter 14 and verse 10. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. John chapter 3 and verse 35. Thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. John chapter 17 and verse 2. Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, I have been with you so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip. He that has seen me has seen the Father. How sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? John chapter 14, verses 8 through 10. I and the Father are one. John chapter 10 and verse 30. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandment, and I abide in his love. John chapter 15 verses 9 through 10. Brethren, I want to break in here a minute. I want you to look at that if, the conditional word there. Study it. Now back. The true believer, the temple of the Spirit, know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19. Creator Spirit, by whose aid the world's foundation first were laid, come, visit every humble mind. Come, pour thy joys on humankind. From sin and sorrow set us free and make us temples worthy of thee. In God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God. And brethren, if you are not following the ways, the past, the doctrines that Christ set up, the God's way, not the tradition of men, get down on your knees and repent of this. For if you truly want to have the Father and His Son in your heart, pray and ask for it, and they will answer your prayer. Well, with that, brethren, we're going to close for another day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.